Again, our feature is really just one, and that's to import seller data into Google Sheets. And since that's what we specialize in, and that's what we're so good at, um, that's what I'll show you. And that way, I'll, and I'll take you through the process of how it can be applied to your business, how is it in our business as well, and that way you'll be able to get a good idea of how it goes. Once you've logged in, for anyone that logs in, this is where it goes in. But what I want to take your direction to is on the left side, there's all these, uh, pretty much everybody gets access to these spreadsheets because we want people to just, uh, we want to make it easy for people to use rather than having to learn everything. So if you're busy, if you don't have time to create templates and um, spreadsheets, then everything that we have here, you can just pretty much copy it straight to your Google account. And then you just add your credentials, activate the add-in, and it's pretty much, we've tried to make it as easy to get going as possible, like play and play. So the first thing is um, I want to show you this training spreadsheet because it pretty much encapsulates uh, the stuff that you can do with uh, the add-on and by being able to pull the data. I've got my demo account loaded. And one of, the, one of the SKUs that I've just created is AAAA1111. Another one is BBBB2222. So just for the sake of this um, demo, I'm just, I just manually type this in. And now I'm going to get data and product information related to this SKU. So I've done a couple here, but I'm going to delete, say, this image. And I'm going to delete, say, this. Um, it's as simple as doing, because we've pretty much added extra functionality to Google Sheets, as long as you've used um, spreadsheets, Excel, it's exactly the same thing, except you're now going to use our custom formula, which starts with equals, gorilla, and then you see all these different functions that we support. The first example I'm just gonna show you is, right now, since this is our um, AAAA1111 is our SKU, I'm just gonna transform that into an ASIN. So I'm going to do gorilla underscore skew asin. And then there's all these different options that we have, but this is the one I'm going to do because I want to automatically convert what my skew is into asin. So I'm just going to select this cell. And then I'm going to type in skew to asin because that's the, that's the way I want to transform it. And so let's get rid of that message. And then it automatically converts your current SKU into an ASIN. So if you have like a long list of SKUs that you want to get the ASIN for, and right now, if you're having to continually say log into your account, copy and paste or export, et cetera, you can already see how much time this is going to save, especially if you have like 1,000 SKUs or 1,000 ASINs, and you need to quickly grab the SKU or the ASIN or vice versa. The second example is you can grab product attributes. So it's something as easy again as gorilla underscore product and what this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and grab an image like I have an example in the right side this purple text here but I'm going to grab the URL so this the first parameter is going to be the SKU and then I'm going to grab the image small oh, let me do that again small image underscore URL and I can pretty much leave it at that. I can add extra functionality to say, I want the image from like my UK marketplace or my US or my France uh, or my Australian marketplace. It doesn't matter. And to do that, then it loads me the, uh, the URL for the actual image that I'm using. Now, if I want to get the image version of that, all I have to do again is just simple Excel where I just wrap it inside the image function and then it automatically converts that into the image. So I can grab all the thumbnails and load it onto my spreadsheets. And I'll show you how everything comes about in the next templates. And I'm just going to run through this quickly because by now you can probably already get an idea of how this works. Now I've already done this at the top. Um, let's do this. Let's say I want to grab all my ASINs uh, in my current account. I, I can add, um, define which marketplace I want to grab it from. Like uh, if I have UK and I just want to grab it from my UK account, I can type in say underscore UK and then do that. Or if I just want to grab everything, I'm just going to just close it, just enter that formula. And it will, look, it will show that in my demo account, I have three ASINs and it just automatically populates. You can do other things like product category where this product, this helmet, 
product that I'm got set up is under sports and outdoors. It you can even go further down and get the exact uh, category of the product. On this one, this formula pretty much shows you how much inventory I have in stock. So this is the formula where I'm using this SKU. I'm looking up all the products in the marketplace and I just want the ones under in stock. So by having these inventory data specifically, you can do things like um, really project and get a better idea and get an up-to-date value of how much inventory you have, how much is being transferred, how much is being um, shipped inbound, uh, and that way you get a much up-to-date um, idea of your inventory uh, forecasting and projections. And so that's how it works. Um, let me take you to the next template, which actually pretty much shows, shows it to you in action. So again, this is a template that you can copy directly over from your account. Like this one is for finances, but this is one. So if you say, click it, then you can make a copy directly over to your account and save it to your Google Docs. But I'm just gonna close that because this one's been loaded. And you can see that right now, um, let me just clear that up. Right now, I'm grabbing the ASINs automatically. And if you look at the information or the, um, the formula here, based on this SKU, I can now pretty much create any sort of custom template that I need. So I've got the images here. I've loaded the product name from um, Amazon. So I've got all the product names here. I've got the uh, matching ASINs. In this column, you can see the total amount of inventory on hand. And so this really gives you an up-to-date data. Sure, you can see it on um, Amazon directly when you log in, but when you have um, hundreds of different SKUs, it becomes very difficult to actually get a real understanding of your numbers because there's just so much going on in that page. And we've actually combined it to have on this same template, the last seven days, last 14 days, and last 30 days. And the purpose of this screen is to show people how you can customize and create um, your own inventory quantity to ship. So this is just a basic formula that I created where if I was selling this helmet product, in the last 30 days, I'm selling this much, and based on just basic um, spreadsheet formulas, I've calculated that I have about 6.1 days of inventory on hand. So I created this formula that you can get where it's telling me if I wanna get my level back up to 25 or 30 days, I just have to send in this much inventory. Uh, and you can see how um, hands-off it is. If you, if you have, say, a long list of, say, 100, 200 different SKUs, and it immediately tells you what to send. I also created a dashboard version of this so that um, I've, I've cleaned it up and you can see uh, how many, you get a very good quick glance of what products, how many is left, how many is being sold and how many to ship. And so this is just some of the things that you can do if you have data on hand. We have people um, and agencies who have to manage multiple different accounts. So they've created different dashboards for each customer or each brand um, so as to keep things separated and to really get an idea and really stay on top of their numbers uh, so as not to go out of stock because one of the things they don't want to do, of course, is stock out where you lose inventory, you lose sales, somebody else will overtake you in the rankings, and then it takes some more time to actually get your product ranking again. So that's one of the things. The second most um, used template that we offer from people is this one, because we offer so many presets. Like in when you go to Amazon Seller Central and you're trying to filter your dates, mostly people just end at looking at their last seven days, last, four, last 14 days, and last 30 days, simply because there's no other way to quickly filter down different time periods. Whereas we've pretty much pre-calculated all the different pre time presets so that if you go into this page, you can see, and let me zoom in a little bit more, these are all pretty much presets where I know immediately how much I've sold today already. If I want to update this data, 
all I have to do is click on add-ons, Gorilla Sheets, the actual add-on that you've installed, and then I'm going to collect refresh data. And everything starts pulling automatically. So depending on the size of your account, um, if you have, uh, say, we have million dollar sellers on our account, but it still loads within a few seconds. And especially if you have like 1,000, 2,000 um, SKUs, it may take a little bit longer. Right now, this is a demo account. So everything is a little bit um, slower, but in the production version for your account, everything loads much quicker. But now you can see, and then just let the add-on finish updating. And pretty much it's put in every single calculation for today, yesterday, and all these different time set time periods where we have many people who don't really care about last 30 days because they're trying to get their inventory up to last 90 days because they've got to work out their lead times with China, the time it takes for them to ship, um, and pretty much have enough st stock on hand. So they always look at the last 90 days. And until they started using Gorilla, they were having to constantly download their metrics every single day, updating them multiple times a day. But with this, I could easily change this from, say, instead of last, th last 60 days, uh, because the formula, I've got everything loaded, I'm just going to change my time period here. I'm going to change it to last three months. And then this will start loading again. And it's going to look, show, automatically pull in the units sold over the last three months. And this way, you can pretty much understand how your product and how your business has been performing, as well as how you can expect it to perform based on easily being able to project. Like if I look at last year, compared to say there's another number for like the first one let's say i sold like close to 9500 and then this year so far i've done 4900 so based on this idea i can pretty much assume that this product will sell about a little bit more than last year but about the same uh, and so you can do projections uh, you can get better accurate inventory projections when you order so that you don't go out of stock and you can also makes it easier for like peak seasons and um, off peak seasons and knowing when and again same thing but this time we have it in dollar value so you can have inventory count as a dollar amount so you can actually see like if i go to say this year how much of each product I've sold this year, this quarter, this month, how much I sold um, at the same time last year, uh, and so on. So again, this is very good for um, accounting, just keeping track, etc. And so this is another dashboard where I've pretty much reorganized the sales stats into a table format to make it easier to see. And again, this is just some of the things that you can do. There's so much more things that you can do. It's all about your creativity. And if you're already doing six figures and you have lots of different products, you probably have your own dashboard. So you can just feed the data straight into it. So rather than doing updating all manually now, you can pretty much update everything automatically. We also have uh, ways to pull in reviews. Uh, so that way you can filter down and really look up um, reviews, get the direct links, etc. cetera. Uh, right now, this is, let me pull this down like that, get that updated so I can get a quick idea of what my 10, top 10 rated products is uh, based on the rating. All of this information can be pulled automatically from Gorilla with those custom formulas. And so again, it's the same type of format. So if you speak the spreadsheet language, if you think spreadsheets and um, everything else is like your first given language, then this is going to be perfect for you. And going and lastly, the final template that I want to show is again, um, if I want to, I use this one in a way to track hijackers. So I have the title that I've entered into Amazon, and that automatically pulls it here. And then if I enter, uh, and if I want to say, let me close that. I'm, okay, keeps opening the link, but let's say like my title is this one. Uh, and let me get rid of that. Okay, like I've got this Fox Proframe MIPS bike um, that I've used into Amazon. And so what I usually do is I just paste the value in 
Um, and so this is pretty much, I know that on any given date, like today, when like, let's say today is like January 1, 2020, um, on any, on this date, I know that this is the title I updated. And if for whatever reason, if a listing gets hijacked, then the first thing that hijackers do is they try to change the title or your image. And so if for any reason this title does not match with this title, then I know there's something wrong with the um, listing. If my image all of a sudden gets changed, then again, I know that it's been hijacked. So this has actually helped us on many occasions where we were able to detect hijackers within 10 minutes of it happening and we got straight on to getting, kicking them off um, uh, simply because it was just so easy to recognize because we're using spreadsheets all the time and I immediately noticed that our image changed and our title changed compared to what my original was. So these are just some of the ways that you can actually use it. So um, being able to have that flexibility and direct access to your data and pulling what you need, you can come up with all your creative ideas or you can just easily automate and simplify whatever you're doing at the moment and just eliminate all the manual work out of it. So that's what Gorilla ROI does and I hope that um, showed it clearly.